Have you heard of Univer Video, your platform for Christian content? With Univer Video, it's like this. You simply subscribe and you'll have full access to our Christian content from around the world, including the UK and in English. Our main English church services are available for live streaming on Wednesday evenings and Sunday mornings. You can revisit the Sunday morning services anytime and anywhere through Univer Video. There is also the chance to watch our live transmissions, which take place every single day from the Temple of Solomon. There are some meetings that provide simultaneous translation to English. New to Univer Video are the live pastors' meetings in English with Bishop Macedo every Thursday. If you miss it, you can catch up at any time and from anywhere. If you think that's all, how about watching transmissions from over nine countries and in six different languages? All this Christian content is exclusively for you and your family right here on Univer Video. All you have to do is sign up. Already excited to get on board? Well, we have some exciting news for you. For the first 2,000 subscriptions, there is a promotional price of 50% off the annual cost. This means that you get to make a one-off payment of £32.50 for the year and get all this content with no hassle of monthly payments. So, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Simply go to univervideo.com online or download the application on your mobile device and complete the simple registration form. Have your bank card at the ready and simply choose your terms of payment. Before you know it, you'll be up and running. Subscribe today and discover the best Christian content online. Univer Video, a universe of Christian content within your reach. Hello, welcome to Be Inspired Friday. Get ready. We're going to roll up our sleeves in a few moments to bind up all evil forces that are working against us, against our families as well. What we are doing, as you know, your fight is against them. And always remember to rebuke the evil spirits. Always remember to stretch out your hands and bind up the evil forces that certainly, certainly are planning your defeat and certainly they are working against you. You can be sure, even after you, you receive the Holy Spirit, these demons will never, never abandon you. They will never just simply leave you alone, like many people think. Now that, that I have the, the Holy Spirit, now these evil spirits will not bother me. <laughs> They will target you even more. Prepare yourself. You have to, to understand that this is a reality. It's, it's the truth. Huh? They are not going to stop fighting you. They are going to do everything they can to affect your life. And they don't give up. <laughs> People give up. But demons, I'm telling you, even though they know that at the end they will lose, but as long as their end does not arrive, does not come, they fight as winners and they persevere they keep fighting that's why you have to fight even harder you have to be more persistent than these evil spirits fight for your deliverance fight for your salvation even more than how they are fighting for you to lose everything and to go to hell remember that huh? let's rebuke all evil let's determine that these evil spirits will depart this is it. Let's do what the Bible teaches us. Let's resist them and let's overcome them together. You are feeling down, sad, weak, depressed. If you are there saying, ah, things are not working the way 
I expect let's use our faith, let's rebuke the spiritual working against us. All right? Don't forget to share the link of our station with as many people as you can. Have a look there, libertyradio.co.uk. Share this link everywhere and even type there, Be Inspired has just begun. Come on, let's invite more people to join us because today we're going to be sharing testimonies with you. Yes, new testimonies, testimonies from people who use their faith. Quite a few of them there, they use their faith this week. Yes, we're not going to be able to show you all the testimonies we have, but next week we'll continue. Today we have some to show you. People who use their faith with us, remember, last Sunday they received the anointing. They have been using the anointing oil, and God is manifesting His power in their lives. We have testimonies that prove prove that today miracles are still happening. So let's go. Let's invite more people to join us, share the posts, everything we posted online. And once again, if you have a testimony, have a look there. Send it to this email address, to our chat, WhatsApp chat. Be part of the great cloud. Eh? Yes, soon your photo is going to be there. We are going to play your testimony next. My testimony at uckg.org. That's the email address. And also our WhatsApp number. And this is our 24-hour helpline as well. 020 7686 6,000. So you who have a testimony, you who saw results, you are using your faith, you saw results recently, you know, do, do what people are doing. Make sure that you share your testimony with everyone. All right? So record a two minutes testimony. Talk about the before, the after, and send it to us. We're going to be playing here. Let's glorify God together. Let's show everyone that God is real. So do you have the testimonies ready there? So let's go together now watching testimonies and determine, come on, determine that you will be the next testimony. Every day, every night we are here determining together, confessing. We're not just making noise. It's written there. Whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Do you believe in this? So if you believe, so agree there with me. Say, I will be the next testimony in Jesus' name. Have a look there. Hello, so my name is Chantal and I'm actually from the Leeds branch and I just want to give God thanks for literally just transforming my life, honestly. I came to the church homeless, I was sleeping rough, I was diagnosed with PTSD, I was nearly sectioned, I was doing drugs, smoking, drinking, you name it. Me coming to the church now, I was able to apply the word of God, I was able to overcome and I kid you not, like these past two and a half years, honestly speaking, has been the best years of my life. I've acquired many blessings. I've acquired around 14 scholarships for my academics. I've opened a business during the pandemic. I've worked with big names in my profession. No amount of clubbing, no amount of money can compare to the power of God, can compare to the Holy Spirit. And yeah, like it's through the Holy Spirit now that in a time in such uncertainty, especially in the lockdown, especially in the pandemic, because of the host, I'm able to overcome and come out stronger each lockdown. The the biggest gratitude that I can give to God is by sharing my testimony and just saying thank you. So thank you, God. Look how amazing. Huh? What a transformation of life. This is the power of God. Chantel from Leeds, God bless you, God bless you all there in Leeds. These testimonies, they really amaze us. And, you know, for us, it's, they are even refreshing. They, they refresh our souls. They renew our faith. We see that our work is not in vain. Can you see how great? We are sowing the seed. We are instructing people. We are sharing with people what they can do in order to turn their lives around. And everything we are giving you, we are taking from here. Yes, from the Word of God. And look how amazing. She practiced the directions and she saw results. You can see results as well. Yes, you were there thinking about ending your life. You were there thinking about, 
you know, committing suicide. I know that when you are facing a problem that you cannot resolve, you think about killing yourself. Yes, I felt about doing this before as well. But that doesn't solve any problem. Again, eh, it's going to create a bigger problem. Yes, if you kill yourself, <laughs> you think that your problems here will end. I agree. Maybe you're saying, my goodness, are, are you crazy? Once you kill yourself, your problems on earth finish. That's correct. You're dead. You're dead now, so it's over here. But now your soul, again, your soul, who you are, will live forever. And those who kill themselves, they committed murder. Imagine, I, even though it's my life, but I don't have the right to end it. God is the one who decides. When you end your own life, you kill yourself, your soul goes straight to hell. Sometimes people say, ah, but I didn't do any, I didn't cause any harm to people. I did not hurt anyone. I didn't kill anybody. I, I, I did it to myself again. Even though you did it to yourself, but you killed, you killed yourself. Remember that you take this idea out of your mind, even rebuke that now. Say, I reject these demonic ideas. I am not going to end my life. Say there. Say there, you were feeling exhausted, you were feel worn out, you were thinking about doing something that you will regret later, or maybe you're not going to regret here, in this life, you're going to regret when you are there in hell. Huh? So say there, I am not going to do it. And repeat with me now, say in Jesus' name, I will glorify God with my testimony. This is it. Yes, come on. I am one of these people who were desperate before, and look, God Turn my life around like he did for Chantel, for so many others. We have not only hundreds, we have thousands of testimonies. And you, you are one of them. Type you on the chat. Look at this, how nice. Look how we're going to get many testimonies now. Let's bombard the chat with testimonies. Let's do it. Simple. Who, who of you there, you can say that when you came to church, you use your faith, you saw results in your life. Just type there, I did. This is it. I did. That's your testimony for tonight. Yes? Type. Keep, keep, keep. Let, let them keep coming. I did. Who saw results? By faith. Yes? No matter the type of result. You who say, I saw results. I can say, God worked in my life. Healing, deliverance. Maybe you were set free from depression. You were delivered from problems. Or you, you were blessed. Yes? Look at that. Look at the chat there. Keep it coming. Yes? Let it keep coming now. I did. Yes, I did. Look at that. Have a look there. If God bless all these people, will he not bless you? Come on. And I'm saying to you, he wants to bless you. God wants to change your life. I am sure about that. And what gives me the assurance is you being here with me. Because you are there, this is God's will. God wants to change your life. All you have to do now is to Practice the directions we are giving. Follow the instructions we are giving. Even the testimonies they are teaching many people. They are giving guidance, directions. Yes. Imitate their faith. Yes, this is it. Practice like they did. And you're going to see great results. Now I'm going to show a testimony from somebody who used the anointing oil. And by the way, you who have the oil, don't forget. You who took your bottle last Sunday, bring it again this Sunday. We gave the holy, the holy oil last week, Sunday. Continue using according to your faith. But this Sunday, before the, you know, the, the beginning of the service, you who are coming for the 10 a.m. service, we have the earlier one as well. We have services in the afternoon. But you who are coming at 10 a.m., arrive 30 minutes before 10. Around 9.30, 9.45. Bring your bottle because you're going to be putting a drop of the oil that was blessed at the Temple of Solomon inside of your your bottles, we're going to be consecrating your oil, okay? And don't forget, bring your papers, documents related to your finances, whatever represents your finances, because at the door as well, we're going to be performing the anointing. And as you know, we are observing the social distancing. There at the door, we're going to be giving you a cotton ball for you to anoint your items, everything really well organized. You don't need to, to worry about having contact with any body. You're going to come and certainly God's going to bless you. 
and you're going to leave his house indeed with many answers. You're going to live differently. So this Sunday at 10 a.m., we're going to be even giving you instructions on how you can use the oil in order for you to see results in your financial life. That's right. The four Sundays of February, we're going to focus on the areas of your life. This Sunday, it will be your finances. And get ready because the following one will be your family. And we're going to do something so strong. Get ready. We're going to make a purpose, worldwide purpose for the families, for God to bless your family. This Sunday, I'm going to be talking more about it with you. Okay? Sunday. Yeah? So watch these testimonies now. Two testimonies and have a look on, on the video that will be played straight after the testimonies. It talks about what will happen this Sunday as well. We'll be right back. I received the holy oil on Sunday and um, I wrote on my paper my request that I'm going to be using it on behalf of my uncle who is com who was currently in hospital sick with an infection and um, was very unwell in particular because he's had a liver transplant before um and he, he wasn't responding well to the treatment so i specifically was using this oil and when i received it on sunday as soon as i received it and had left the service i called up my uncle and i said to him i've been to church today and i've collected oil and i'm going to use it on your behalf and you will be well and you will leave hospital and you'll be well and i'm pleased to say today that he was released he's responded well to treatment now and he's at home and i was able to pray with him today so yes the power of faith and using the holy oil truly works hello my name is galia and i'm from the finsbury park branch and i wanted to share my testimony about the holy oil that we recently received this sunday for my healing so basically i found myself in a predicament where i had injured my knee and my GP assumed that it was a damage to my knee ligament and that I would have to have a series of tests and a scan to determine whether I was going to get surgery or not. I found myself in a situation where I was so in so much pain, I literally couldn't get anywhere on my own. I was on crutches, I had to always have support of someone else. Um, I found it very difficult to sleep. I could literally be sitting down, just wiggling my toes and it would cause me so much pain in my knee. Um, there was a specific point I remember that my brother actually had to drive me to A&E because I had been in so much pain and I couldn't even sleep that night and there was a specific moment that I remember watching the Be Inspired program on Liberty Radio and what was said was in short basically the Lord Jesus Christ did not die on the cross for us to suffer and I literally took that with me and determined that the next day I was going to go into church and determine that the scan that I was having later on that day, the results were going to come back, that I was completely healed and I, I, I wasn't going to have to have a surgery. When this was announced that we was going to receive the holy oil, I used it as an opportunity to say to God, listen, I need my complete healing, not just part healing and here and there pain. So um, that's what happened. That's what I did. Coming to church on Sunday, I determined that I was going to be healed. I used the holy oil, anointed myself and determined that, kept an anointing myself after Sunday and determined that I was completely healed. And I've been basically jumping and dancing ever since. And yeah, I just wanted to give all the glory to God. The anointing of the holy oil is like turning on a light in the darkness. When we use it with faith, we call God's attention. During the four Sundays of February, we will focus the use of this element on different areas of your life. This Sunday, 7th February, the focus will be on financial purposes. Bring your bottle to receive a drop of holy oil. You should also bring documents, bills, projects and everything else that represents your financial commitments at 10 a.m. at 232 Seven Sisters Road, Finsbury Park, London N43NX or at any universal church near you. Look how strong and amazing testimonies. They used the oil and they saw great results. Galia from Finsbury Park. God bless you. God bless you all from Finsbury Park and you saw there is Stacy's testimony from Peterborough. May God bless you all from Peterborough. And let's continue using our faith. And this Sunday, invite somebody to come with you. Invite a friend, a family member. 
someone you don't even know, but this person is always there, passing. You know, imagine walking next to you, and you 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 come across that person often. It's not somebody, let's say, someone who is very close to you, but nearly every week or twice a week, you you see that person. Give a leaflet to this person, or tell this person, look, this Sunday, this Sunday, we have this event. It's there. They're going to be using the oil to anoint those who are sick, those who are in need of help. And God will manifest His power. And look what the Bible says. That's what the disciples were doing, by the way. In Mark, let me share with you this passage. Mark 6, 12. Look how strong it says there. Mark 6, 12. So they went out and preached that people should repent. Look at that, what they focus on. Huh? And they cast out many demons and anointed with oil. Look at this, with the olive oil. Many who were sick and healed them. Can you see how strong what the disciples were doing? And we are doing the same today. And in the same way they saw results in the past, people are seeing results today. So give people a chance. Invite them to, to be in church with you this Sunday, you are, who are self-isolating. You join us here on Liberty Radio or Univer at 10 a.m. as well. Let's use our faith together. This is it. What is the difference? Hmm? You can use your faith anywhere. And I know some of you, you, you wish you could be in church, but if you cannot now, but what you cannot do is not to use your faith with us. So join us online, okay? Don't feel sad. Don't start saying, oh my goodness, I wish I, I were there as well. as well. Let's use our faith. If we have this, this facility, you know, this means in order for us to connect, to unite our faith, let's use it. Yes, let's use the internet on our favor. And let's determine that you are going to see results. And we saw how many people online, isn't it? So many people saw results last Sunday. Yes, and this Sunday is going to be even greater. Those who are online, Sunday, when you see results, you type on the chat there. Let's glorify God together. All right, so this Sunday, we're going to continue with the anointing with the holy oil. We're going to be focusing on your finances. And don't forget, tithers, prepare your tithe, prepare your offerings as well, because it's the first Sunday of the month, and we're going to be consecrating the tithers, as you can see there, on the slides in front of you, the feast of the first fruits. And we have been speaking to you about Cain and Abel, how both they, yes, presented offerings to God, but one was accepted, the other one was not accepted. And why? Both knew what they should do, but one of them, Cain, he didn't really treat you know, his offering or what he was doing to God. He didn't do it with reverence, respect. For him, it was more of a burden there. You know, like sometimes people do it, they give tithes and offerings and say, ah, we have to give. That was Cain. But Abel, Abel, he revered God. He gave his best. He respected God. And God even says, says there that the Bible says actually that God respected Abel's offering. Both of them, could have been blessed. But one chose to honor God, to do it with reverence, respect. The other one didn't do it in the same way. That's why he was rejected. Not that God wanted to reject him. He, I can even say, Cain was the one who put himself in the position of disapproved. It was Cain. In life, it's like this. You decide if you're going to be approved or not by God. If you do well, if you do what pleases God, you honor Him. He honors you. As the Bible says, those who honor God, they shall be, hmm? shall be what? They shall be honored. And those who dishonor God, ah, they're going to reap the bad fruits. They will be dishonored. They will suffer the consequences. Unfortunately, that's what we see happening. Very unfortunate indeed. I wish everybody would do well because everybody would be blessed. 
Sometimes people say, why don't we have more testimonies? Why don't we see more results? We have plenty. But the truth is that everyone who knows the truth, everyone who is coming to church should be by now. You know, even if you have, if you are one week in the church, you should by now be seeing results in your life. In case you are not seeing results, in case you are not seeing changes, you have to look at yourself and ask yourself this question. Wait a minute. Am I doing my part? Am I really practicing the directions that I am receiving? Like I, what I read here on verse 12, and the disciples were, were preaching that people should repent. <laughs> Look at this. Repent. That means abandon what is against God's will, abandon disobedience. That's what repentance means. You turn your back on what is not of God, and from that moment on, you start living a life that pleases God. This is not being religious. This is being wise, I can even say to you. Being wise, because if you, you do that, God is going to, to bless you here on earth, and He's going to save your soul. So this Sunday, follow the, the path of Abel. Separate your tithe, your first fruits, prepare your offering, your best, with respect, with diligence. And look what I told people to do on I believe it was Wednesday, isn't it, to put some perfume. You don't have to do it if you don't want. But if, if this inspiration is really stirring you up, if this, what I said now is really giving you this urge, you are saying there, this is it, I'm going to do it as well. So you're going to put some perfume on your tithe, on your offerings there, and come with love, respect, and give your best to God knowing that just like he accepted Abel's offering, he's going to accept yours as well. Your first fruits, your offerings of faith there, your best, God is going to accept it and he's going to honor all of you greatly. You can be sure that God is going to manifest his power. He wants to. He wants to reward people, as we mentioned before. But we need to, to do our part. So Sunday, once again, it's going to be the Feast of the First Fruits. We're going to be presenting our tithes and offerings. Also, we're going to be using the oil in order to see God's power in our lives, blessing our finances. And we're going to be exploring, as you can see here behind me, look, one more manifestation of the Spirit of God, and that is the Spirit of Wisdom. Don't forget to bring your card. Have a look there. Many of you have already collected these cards. If you didn't, you can pick up these cards in any UCKG branch. Even this Sunday, you can ask for the cards. Okay, that's the card there. Sunday, we are going to explore the spirit of wisdom together. All right, let's go for a quick break now, and I'm going to stand up. I'm going to get close to you. Look, I'm going to roll up my sleeves, and you'll do the same there, huh? Because we are going to stretch out our hands. Today is Friday. And let's rebuke all evil together. Let's bind up the evil spirits that are working against us, against our family. We'll be right back. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering. But he did not respect Cain and his offering. What we offer on the altar represents what God means to us. Abel did it right when he treated God as the first and most important thing he had. And it is the same today. While some see it as a burden, Others see it as an opportunity to honor God, placing Him above everything else. This Sunday, 7th February, the Feast of the First Fruits, a day to show who is in first place in our lives. At 10 a.m. at 232 Seven Sisters Road, Finsbury Park, London, N43NX or at any universal church near you. Be inspired on Liberty Radio. So let's bind up all evil together now. Are you ready? 
Let's do it with faith, with revolt. Fight back. Especially you who are feeling down, sad, weak, worn out. You are thinking about giving up. You are not going to give up. No, you are not. We are going to make these demons give up now. They are going to let go of your life, your family. Can you stand up now? Come on, come on, let's go. Move your arms there like, like this. Take a deep breath. There. Yes, this is it. Come on, look at me here. Look at me here. God is with you. Your life is going to change. Come on. Use your faith with me. Don't be negative. Don't keep saying, ah, I tried. It didn't work. That's the problem. If you don't unite your faith with me now, nothing's going to happen. And it could have. It could have happened. So let's make it happen. You're going to be a great testimony. It's huge. Your problems are big. You don't know what else to do. I'm telling you that you can do something now. Use your faith with me now. Come on, let's bind up this evil. You're going to be the next one here. Yes, we're going to play your testimony. And you're even going to remember these moments when you, you had to, to fight against the negative feelings, the doubts. You did it and God honored your faith. Let's bind up all evil. No music now. Stretch out your hands with me. Go ahead. Stretch out your hands like this. You can do like this. Both hands, wherever you are. Let's rebuke all evil spirits. As I rebuke here, you do the same in agreement. And there will be a moment we're going to say, get out of our lives, of our families, and believe they're going to live. Close your eyes, please. In the name of Jesus, evil spirits who are working against us. Yes, we unite our faith and we go against you. And we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You spirits working against our families, causing fights, division. Spirits working in our finances, closing doors, making sure that everything is not success. With spirits of infirmity, evil forces causing the addictions and depression and problems. Oh darkness, we rebuke you. We command you right now to depart from our lives, to get out of our lives. Say now, oh evil, in my life, in my family, say in Jesus' name, say strong that get out of my life, get out of my family, and never come back again in Jesus' name. Be blessed. Whoever you are there listening to this prayer, I bless you now in the name of Jesus. And as you believe... Your situation will no longer be the same. Your lives will glorify God. I determine the end of these problems, this negativity in your life, and you will glorify God with a great testimony. Be free right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, this is it. I'm sure that you're even feeling different now. Do you know why you are feeling different? Because you are using your faith. When you decide to use your faith, you become full of light. Yes, you become like a flame of fire. And that's how you overcome your problems and all evil that tries to affect you. Let's continue fighting. Huh? Let's continue using our faith. Come on. Join us again next week, Monday. Yes, we're going to be back here once again at 10 p.m. Be inspired. But Sunday huh? at 10 a.m., let's continue using the oil as a point of contact. Let's continue exercising our faith. Ah, this month of February will be a great blessing in Jesus' name. I'm going to let you go now. Have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening. And watch this video from, from our soup kitchen. Don't forget, tomorrow in our brunches, we're going to have the soup kitchen, the food bank. Have a look on the slides there. As you can see there, in quite a few brunches here in London. You see Peckham, also Plasto here in Finsbury Park. Also outside London, as you can see there, Leeds and some other branches. Give us a call now for you to know more about this work, the food bank. You can see that the number 020-7686-6000. That's our helpline and also our WhatsApp number. So let us, you know, give us a call and let us know if you need any help. We are here. Your fight is our fight. And tomorrow in our branches, the soup kitchen, the food bank, here we are. Again, you are not alone. Have a look on this video and I see you in church this Sunday at 10 a.m. and back here again Monday at 10 p.m. Have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening. God bless you. Bye-bye.
So we're on our way. We're just leaving Finsbury Park and we're on our way to South London to collect the food from Fair Share, who are our partners. So uh, we've been working with Fair Share for a while now. They supply food for our soup kitchen. Let's go. The lockdown was, was the reason why we decided to open up the soup kitchen in other branches. We saw that there was a real need. We initially just had it in Catford, okay, just in one location. With the lockdown and the whole pandemic the situation, we saw that there was a need. People were really struggling. So we decided to do something in order to help those people and we opened up the soup kitchen in, in four other places. Pinty Park being one, Kilburn, the other place, one in Leeds, which is outside London, and of course the other in South London, Peckham, all of which are are receiving weekly, you know, new faces, people returning, you know, constantly. They're being helped clearly, and it's 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 a really, really, really amazing initiative. So this journey we do once a week, normally on a Friday. Actually, it's always on a Friday. Uh, we collect the food, we store it overnight, and then on Saturday mornings we are sorting and separating everything so that we can give to people who come to us for the soup kitchening in the morning. And it's good because it's, it's a work that requires more than what you would think. There's a lot of people involved, as you can imagine, from the drivers like myself today to those who we're collecting from, to those who help sort, to those who are on the front line. All of the guys that help out in the soup kitchen are volunteers. They do it with joy. You can see how they, the dedication from all of them, it's, it's, really, it's really amazing to see. They do it with a real joy, which of course has a knock-on effect on everything else that we do. And it helps those who come to us as well to enjoy coming to us and keep coming back. So here we are at Fairshare, we've just made our pickup. Today we've got quite a few different things. We've got some veg as well, we've got some yogurt, we've got some tins as we normally get, some bread. We've got a range of different items as we usually get from Fairshare. It's, it's always great to work with them. All right, so now we're gonna be making our way back up to North London, where we're gonna be sorting out everything so we can prepare them for the bags that we're gonna be giving to tomorrow when they come into the soup kitchen. Let's get to it. Arrived. <laughs> been a long journey, but we're finally here. So now, we're gonna unload all the things. We have our, our volunteers who are ready to help us. And then we're gonna be getting them all sorted out so we can prepare them for tomorrow. We unload all, all the food. They go to the place where we go and then sort them out. We put them into, into bags and we organize everything. And then we make sure everything is done in a proper way. Anything that needs to be refrigerated overnight or frozen overnight, we keep in the freezer or the fridge. But then afterwards, we come back in the morning, Saturday morning, the morning of the soup kitchen. So when people coming into the soup kitchen, they can have a clear choice of what they need, what they want. They're able to pick and choose as they, as they desire. So here we are, it's Saturday morning and we're just about to open up our soup kitchen for today. As you can see behind me, we have our volunteers. They're already sorting and separating all the food that we received yesterday. And we received quite a bit, so we're excited about that. We have some fresh fruit and veg here on this side. We have some drinks here, and we also have some non-perishable stuff as well to give out. So just waiting a few more minutes and people will be entering to come and receive stuff from our soup kitchen. Let's get to it. Today we are preparing soup for the community here in Islington which comprises of Finsbury Park and Hornsey and we tend to prepare two different type of soups one chicken soup and the other is vegetable soup. For me, I think it's very important that we are able to give back to the community. We are here as a help centre to help those who are unable to help themselves, those who for whatever reason may be lacking um, food or even money to purchase food. You know, it's, it's been amazing to be able to be a part of the you know, creation of the soup kitchen all the way up to now. 
uh, seeing how many people have been supported and, and continue to be supported and for me it's an absolute joy and pleasure. Every Saturday the experience gets better, the interaction with people from the community, it's so lovely. You can see their faces light up with so much joy when they come in and they receive that bag of food and hot soup to take home. A lot of the people that have been coming, they've no longer come alone, they start to bring their friends, their neighbours because they value what we have to offer them here at the Soup Kitchen. Just want to say um, thank you for your support um, and we look forward to doing more things uh, with the food bank. When I am weak, you carry every burden. When I'm alone, you're just a breath away. When I am restless, you're the one who steals me. And where I fail, you always stay the same. I soar on borrowed wings When I reach the end You are just beginning In you alone I find all that I need When I am lost You rescue me from danger And when I fall You love past my defenses And though I stray You're patient to the end In you alone I'm lifted up to heaven In you alone I soar on borrowed Due to ongoing concerns with COVID-19, we would like to reassure our members and visitors that all UCKG venues remain a safe place to attend for private prayers and services. Communal areas are regularly cleaned and individual single-use materials are provided in place of shared materials. Social distancing procedures continue to be in operation at all our venues to ensure your safety and protection as well as that of others. We operate a meticulous cleaning schedule during and in between services. You can be confident that though these are unprecedented times, 
the user KG remains a safe place for you and your family at all times. Join us today at your nearest venue. Find out more by going to usekg.org forward slash addresses or by calling 020-7686-6000 Be inspired on Liberty Radio If you would like to donate in support of this work, please do so by any of the following ways. Via online banking, using our details as provided, through the QR code which will take you to the payment page on our website, or via Pingit with the details provided. Thank you for your help.